And this evening, we have four new laws all aimed at combating vaccine mandates. The bills from the Florida legislature's special session includes bans on vaccine requirements for government agencies and opt-outs for workers at private businesses. Now, parents would also have the right to sue school districts that require masks. And Florida would split from OSHA to create its own state-run agency. And after lawmakers spent three days in Tallahassee pushing these anti-vaccine mandate bills, Governor Ron DeSantis picked Brandon, Florida to sign them into law. Our Liz Crawford was there for the bill signing. You know, signing a bill into law is usually a pretty tame, even boring event. This felt more like a rally. At least 100 people showed up to cheer the governor on. We provide uh, protections for people. Uh, no nurse, no firefighter, no police officer, no trucker, no anybody should lose their job because of these COVID jabs. Less than 24 hours after the Florida legislature passed four bills related to blocking vaccine mandates, DeSantis was ready to sign them into law. He said the state had to work fast because people were at risk of losing their jobs for refusing the shots. Now, supporters wore Let's Go Brandon shirts, a Republican slogan used to troll Joe Biden. When asked if that's why DeSantis chose Brandon, Florida to sign the bills. So I think that Brandon, Florida is a great American city. I think the people here are fantastic. So it certainly felt like a rally there this morning. Now, when it comes to the legislation, all of those laws are in effect immediately. And now Liz, businesses will need to comply with these new rules if they don't. They face being fined potentially for sure. And actually, the law sets aside five million dollars for the attorney general to investigate complaints. Now, we have a lot more on the specifics of the bills on 10tampabay.com.